Hey, what's up, geeks? And welcome again to another show of Era of the Geeks. So now it has been a while since I have been doing a review of a gaming mouse, and today I have the TTE Sports Black FP in the house. So let's go. All right, let me tell you a little bit of something that is going on in the gaming mouse market right now. Well, nowadays, a gaming mouse is always oriented to have all of these gaming features and awesome design and awesome RGB lightings that can change at your whim. But a lot of them have forgotten about comfort, ease of use, simplicity and efficiency of a mouse. That's what we all need. But now this TTE Sports Black FP added security along the line. Yes, yes, of course, this TT Esports Black FP has all the gaming features that you need. It uses the high quality Japanese Omron switches, it's got adjustable weights so that you can customize it to your liking. It has red LED and has four levels of DPI indicator as well. The logo lights up red. It's using the Evago 9500 laser sensor that you can change from 100 to 5700 DPI. But what's this? A fingerprint sensor? What are those? Yes, a fingerprint sensor. Now, I was quite skeptical about this at first. I have to admit that. I mean, why would I want a fingerprint scanner on my mouse? <laughs> then, it hit me. Duh, obviously, it's to add better security to your system. You can lock and customize your favorite websites so that you only need your fingerprint to log in and you can log into windows using your fingerprint now this technology is called the synaptics iron veil it's a biometric sensor that responds to my amaze really well i've tried it in different situations like my hands were a bit wet breadcrumbs some coffee and yeah something else and you know what it worked out just fine Okay, it's not perfect. Some of the times I really need to wipe my fingers and position my finger better for the sensor to pick up my fingerprint. But setting up the fingerprint is easy. You just need to download and install the driver on TT Esports website, register and set up your fingerprint like you would on your smartphone. And after a few taps, you are ready to go. But if I were to put it in percentage, it's a 95% positive reaction from using the fingerprint scanner. The design of the mouse fits my hand perfectly. And mind you, I have a rather large hand. Uh, I don't use my mouse in claw mode. I use it the comfortable way by resting everything on the mouse. The buttons on the mouse were all responsive and I had no problem clicking it in any position. The surface of the mouse, except for the small glossy areas, does not attract dust or even oil from the fingers so it stays clean even after more than 3 weeks of use. The Avago 9500 laser sensor also does not disappoint and there is no noticeable acceleration. Lifting up the mouse is on point as well with no sudden jerking and playing FPS games while aiming with my whole arm is working well. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I've been praising this mouse from the start and you might be asking, where is the bat? part. Well, it's hard to find one. At a price point of only 330 ringgit here in Malaysia, this TT Esports Black FP is offering a ton of good stuff that can easily negate any downside if any. I mean, it's comfortable to use, well, for my hand, that's, that's my size. It's made of high quality materials and components to ensure durability and reliability. It doesn't have all these gimmicky stuff like RGB, well, I actually would like to have it RGB in the next version and it's simple to use and no hassle at all. Seriously guys, this is such a relief to find a gaming mouse that just does what it's supposed to do and a bit more extra to boot. Now I would love to see in the future like updates like um, you can buy stuff online using the fingerprint scanner and everything that would be much much easier like you have to put in all the data like address, phone number, bank accounts and everything just use the fingerprint sensor and it has all the data over there that would make my life so much easier. Alright guys, so that is it for my review today. I hope you liked this video. If you do, please don't forget to smash that like button and don't forget to share it to your friends so that it may help them in deciding to get what kind of gaming mouse in the market. There is so much gaming mouse out there and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tell your friends to subscribe to the channel as well because I will keep doing more videos and I will see you in the next one. Air of the Geeks, baby.